over the next few years, your interests are going to change again and again and again. As you learn more about yourself, meet new people, take different courses, and try new things. So, how do you make the most of your time at D.C. Everest so that when you graduate, you're in the right place for you? Be it a military, be it a career, a technical college, or a four-year university. I'm Aaron Huffman, and I serve as the Career and Technical Education Coordinator here at D.C. Everest. We know that there's no one-size-fits-all program of study for all students. The important part is we've designed our curriculum so that you can gain the knowledge and skills needed and more importantly, discover what you're interested in. We want students to try new things. Are you interested in music? Cars? Engineering? Health? Computers? Publishing? Construction? Cooking? How about agriculture? We have courses that cover all of that. We have all 16 career clusters. My name is Lindsay Tedro and I took a class called Teachers Change Lives. Before that class, I was kind of all over the place when it came to deciding on which career. But teaching has always been in the back of my mind. So learning what it's like to be in front of the class rather than in a desk really put a whole new perspective on me. And, realized, and I realized that I do want to pursue education and hopefully one day become a teacher. This is Mr. Sale and Mr. Hansen. Uh, we're coming to you because we wanted to talk a little bit about uh, innovation and creation, a class that we teach together, ran for the first time last year. We had some amazing things happen, Mr. Sale. Fantastic um, things. So we basically allowed students freedom to pursue things that they're interested in. Um, so some students use it as an opportunity to get out in the community and do some job shadows and see if um, you know a certain career would be right for them after they left high school. We had other kids pursue passions of writing and actually um, publish books. Yeah, we did. We had students that pursued um, uh, a community event yeah. uh, called Seely Steps, where Mr. Seely, one of our colleagues, ran 50 miles around a track to raise money and, and food for, for our school pantry. Our school pantry. Um, and so we had a lot of cool things. What else can we tell them, Mr. Sam? You tell them that the, kind of the point of the class is really to emphasize student passion. We have a great tool, Zello, that helps you match your interests, personality, and abilities with career fields. You take interactive assessments and Zello identifies a wide range of careers for you and then lists the relevant courses at D.C. Everest you can take to prepare for a career, post-secondary education, or position in the military. There's a lot to be said for what students learn outside of the classroom. 55 student organizations that we encourage you to check out. We also have the career fairs. We have job shadow opportunities. We have Adventure Day, and apprenticeships, and internship programs. There are so many different ways for you to build your resume. Your future self will thank you for getting involved today in one of our organizations here at Everest. We want DC Everest students to take advantage of these opportunities. Put your interests to the test, get real world experience, build your resume, gain job skills, and learn more about yourself. I'm Cole Laft and I uh, am a DC Everest graduate. I graduated in the class of 2018. Um, during my high school career, I took a few tech ed classes and I took that uh, construction class where we built the house. Um, if it wasn't for classes like that, I don't know if I'd be where I am today. That really helped lead my decision to where I am today. Hi, my name is John Belton and I'm a junior at the senior high. I took the class Everest Entrepreneurs in 2017 and started my own business, Silverlink Technologies. Through Silverlink Technologies, I've helped countless senior citizens with their technology needs through classes, individual one-on-one -on -one help, and over the phone. It has been a huge part of my life ever since and has really helped change what I want to do as a career, and it's been a great thing for me. I'm a senior this year. Uh, last year as a junior, I participated in, in quite a few welding competitions and I made it to state for one of them. And I was in two different welding classes last year and that's what led me up to this year's opportunity. Uh, I'm doing a welding program through NTC, which we learn about like applied math, 
print reading and welding and I will have a degree in welding before I graduate high school. If you want to make the most of your time here at DCE, don't underestimate the power of having a flexible plan so you know what courses to take, what clubs and work experiences will help you gain relevant experience, and what options you have after high school. Zello can help you identify technical colleges and universities, create a resume, and prepare for a job interview. And never underestimate the importance of what you can learn from others. From grade 6 onward, our schools host career and education fairs. We host college and military representatives at our schools and workshops to help you apply for scholarships and financial aid. Use these resources to gain from the experience of others. It's a really fascinating experience for me because I got to see um, my own kind of people, my relatives actually, a lot of the people who went there were my aunts and uncles, and it was fascinating how um, they are living the American dream of like um, going higher class and all that and being respected. And it was interesting how uh, was what they taught us and what they said. Honestly, without us going to the career fair, we wouldn't be part of who we are, and like we will be doubting ourselves, saying that we cannot be what we want to be. And without us going there, we wouldn't be here today. Are you going to change your mind about what you want to do while you're still in high school? Sure. That's why we offer so many options within and outside of the classroom. 